Hello and welcome to another Ninja Bill Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers, Netflix, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Autobot Deluxe Chromia, or Deluxe Autobot Chromia, whichever way you say uh, you prefer. Anyway, here she is and she's a pretty cool figure. Now, I am not a fan of this mold, but we'll get there as we go along and I have her starting out in this semi-dynamic pose and it's pretty cool. Again, we'll get there as we go along, but we're first we're going to take a look at that packaging. So we'll get her off to the side. I'm going to raise up my camera here so we can take a look at this. And this is the Netflix series box. It says Netflix, the Netflix original series. Takara Tomy has the Generations logo. It says Transformers up the side. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. It's got the AHU Hasbro logo. Over here it says Autobot Chromia, get the light glare going on, sorry about that. On this side of the box you have some fantastic artwork going on there, I dig it, dig it a lot, got the art going on there. There's Chromia, you got Prime going on back over there, you got, uh, it looks like Sideswipe maybe going on over here, uh, you got Red Alert, so on this side of the box you got a nice piece of artwork going on there for this Chromia toy. On the bottom, you got stuffs. On the top, you got Autobot logo going on, Transformers going on. It says, more than meets the eye. There you go. More than meets the eye. Anyway, um, and here we are on the back. It says Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobot Chromia got her in robot mode. Got her in her vehicle mode. Takes 15 steps to go to either form. You got this cool sigil going on here. Cybertronian sigil. Got some stuffs going on there. More stuffs, and that's it for the box. Oh, and, and got some pretty cool artwork inside the box going on there, by the way. So, you know, pretty cool stuff. I don't got the actual thing in there, but I've got the... Still, it's all pretty good. Get rid of that, and we'll get back to this figure. Which is pretty cool. And once again, I have her here in this dynamic pose. We're going to lower our camera again, clean her up. Now, this, you have to, to get this... Particular, if you're wondering to get this particular blast effect, you have to buy the uh, uh, the deluxe uh, cyber or cyberverse figures to, to get some blast effects. You'll see in my reviews, they don't come with any of the standard lines, so or main line, whatever you want to call it, the Warp Cybertron trilogy line. They, these blast effects don't come with it. Uh, um, so. To get them, you have to buy the Cyberverse figures. They got some pretty cool blast effects with them. So, we'll get rid of that. And we'll clean her up. I'll be right back. And we're back. And here she is in her robot mode. And I think she looks pretty good. I, I do. Um, not my favorite Chromia toy. It's only one of two I own. But still, you know, uh, um, not my favorite. For comparison, we'll uh, put her next to Hammerbite here. Cyberverse Hammerbite, who I think is a pretty cool toy, and I get to review him. He's coming around though, but those two look pretty good together, about the same scale. They're both deluxes. He's a bit shorter, but with the crown here, it, it crest about matches up, and <laughs> pretty all pretty good. Anyway, we'll get rid of him and take a look at her, and she's pretty cool. One funny thing. I've got to tell you, when, when she's in her vehicle mode, I notice something pretty hilarious. We'll zoom in on that, that mug, and it's pretty cool. I dig it. Got some black eyes, white face, blue around there, black going on up there. <laughs> One pretty hilarious thing is if you turn the head upside down, it kind of looks like a puppy. Look at it. Look at it from a distance. Oh, yeah. There's the eyes. There's the snout. There's the mouth. It looks like a puppy, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that droopy ears. <laughs> anyway, um, this is her face. She's got a nice helmet going on here. It's a nice mold. Got some black over splash or something going on there on both sides. I'm not sure what that's about, but it is there. Got some nice articulation on that head. As you saw, it can go all the way around and look up a great decent bit. Kind of get some down. Pretty cool. Got some red there. Got that black going on there. Light blues. Some silvers. Lots of nice colors going on. I will give the figure that. It's got some nice colors going on. 
Nice variation and breakups in color. Don't care for all this backpack, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And uh, once again, we'll get back to articulation. Arm will only go up that go out that far. You got a bicep rotation up there. You do have a 90 degree at the elbow, and you do have a wrist in and out, but no swivel. You have no waist swivel because of all this kibble back here. You would if you didn't have all this locked in, and that's okay. Um, you do have a forward kick, you have a backwards kick, and you can go out that far. Now, one problem I have with this is this waist piece here likes to continually just pop right off. Uh, during transformation, this thing will pop off all the time. So I'm not sure if that happens with everybody's copy, but at least on my copy, this thing pops off all the time. And it gets old quick. <laughs> it gets old real quick. But fortunately enough, it just pops right back on there with, with a bit of doing. There we go. So, I mean, it, but it won't stay on there. As soon as I go to transform it, it'll it'll pop right off again. I, Again, like I said, I, I'm not sure if that's everyone's copy or just my copy. But it doesn't like to stay on there. On the articulation. So you get... Because of this thing here, you'll have to move it out of the way, and then you can get a deeper range at the knee. But you have to move this out of the way. Otherwise, if you don't, you only get, you know, like maybe a 20 degree bend on that. And you get some up, you get some down, and you got a nice deep rocker there on those feet. So once again, up, down, or back, whichever you prefer. These, you got some uh, um, thigh swivel up there on mine is pretty loose and the legs are you know pretty stiff and the knees are pretty stiff but that thigh swivel is really loose on, on both of mine it, it just it's really loose so lends to some floppiness but pretty still pretty stable at least for posing and that, with that backpack you do have to do some practicing but as you saw in the beginning with a bit of patience, you can get her in some pretty decent poses, even with this big old backpack. So, all in all, it's pretty cool. Now, let's get down to... I'm not going to show the transformation. I was going to say, let's get down to the alt mode, because we've all seen this this before. We've all seen, we're familiar with this mold. We've all seen it. We've all seen the transformation process. So, I'm just going to cut and go to the vehicle mode. So, be right back. And as predicted, that fell off as soon as I started to transform it. And I, and I should have mentioned that while I still have her in robot mode here, she does have a waist swivel underneath this right there. But it, as you see, as soon as you do that, it pops right off. Every time. Every time. And I should have talked about her accessories. Straighten her out. Once again, it, those thigh, it's the thigh swivels on this, on my copy at least, that is really loose. There we go. We'll set her back there for a moment. I'm just going to leave this off. We all, we've all seen what happens there. There we go. Focus up my camera. And uh, she comes with four accessories. She comes with a pistol, which is right here. Pretty cool. Just a pistol. Got some nice, nice molded details. And it, you can put blast effects on there if you wish. So, you know, boom, there you go. Uh, comes with a barrel extension right here. Done in this light blue plastic. And it can also accommodate a blast effect if you wish. Comes with another extension, a barrel piece, or some people are calling these grenades. So, you have a port there. Another blast effect peg there. And again, if you wish, you can... Drop it. <laughs> That's what you can do. You can drop it and put that right on there. Same thing with the other one. Like I said, it comes with two of these. And you can, you know, pop a blast effect on there if you wish. Or you can combine these any which way you want. Like, say you want this this way. You can have a larger pistol. Or you can have a color match it like that if you wish. 
So, totally up to you, or if you want, you know, you can get a little bit nutso here and give her a super long... super long rifle or you know you can via uh, uh, little tabs on there and slots you can you know slot this slot that in there and have that uh, if you wanted you could via those slots there and the tabs tabs all over the place you could you know conceivably make a much larger Dropping everything again. There we go. Go like that. We will go like this. Make sure that's lined up right. Nothing wants to stick together. Since I got the camera on, obviously. <laughs> Nothing wants to stay together while the camera is on. And we'll fix this wagon. There we go. Put on a bit of uh, nail polish. For about a minute and let it dry and now it seems to be staying together better and uh we'll uh actually get this going the right way here tab those together like, like so have your other weapon like this and you can make a double barrel blaster so all things you can do with this and of course via the ports on her hand she can then hold that these weapons Pretty good. You also have ports there and there and there. You also have a port back right there. You see a port right there where you can store these if you want. So you you have options to put all of these weapons on her. So anyway, once again, we'll get back to transformation and and this blasted part just it it it'll. it'll I, I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, the only reason I put it back on for this review is I had her on display on my shelf and. As long as I'm displaying her, this stays on. As soon as I mess with it, it pops right off. And I, and I don't see how it's really staying on there. I mean, it has these cutouts right there. But as you can see, those nubs are really, really tiny right there on her waist. I mean, really, really tiny. And that's what that's supposed to sit on. And it just does not do the job properly. Get this on there like that but it's not deep enough to really whoops there we go to really affect it staying on there unless i glue it and i'm almost afraid to glue it because that might hinder the waist movement or the transformation right there that you use that's a transformation joint her actual waist swivel is right here that's her waist swivel right there that moves independently and, and so as you can see, I'll try to get this here, move this out of the way. That is the waist swivel right there. And you have a transformation joint right above that. So, but it just pops off because that's not very good. It's just clips on there and, and, and it's not. Anyway, I'm ram rambling on about this when I should be moving on. So let's move on. And we're back and here she is in her vehicle or alt mode. And it's, we've seen this alt mode before. Uh, uh, there is some mold variants going on here, but we've pretty much seen this all before, but it still looks pretty Cybertronian in, in a decent alt mode. And you, of course, with the various ports right here, right there, right there, right there, you know, you can stick this weapon wherever you wish, or back here if you wish. I mean, it's... There's options, and it's all up to you, and still not very clean in the back, although, you know, cleaner. So, it's entirely up to you. And you got some nice, decent ports back here if you wanted. You could, you know, take these as exhausts, stick that on there. Come on, there we go. So, you know, you could do that and still have this, you know, going on up here if you wanted. Um... It's entirely up to you how you want to do that. But you do have storage there if you want it. So, I mean, it, it's all pretty cool. It's all pretty good. And for a quick comparison, we'll set her right there. 
back this camera off a bit. We will bring out the Thrilling 30s chrom Chromia, which I got from good friend of the channel, Crimson Raptors. Uh, since I mentioned him, I'll include a link to his channel below. I s highly suggest you go check out his channel. You can also uh, check him out on Tales, for Teletran Tales from Teletran. And uh, yeah, so, you know, I think this is the better toy. I honestly do. Even though it is a repaint and heavy retool of the Transformers Prime RC mold, I think this is the better Chromia to have. She's more representative of how I imagine Chromia. Now, that's just me personally. But, you know, in the show, the Warp Cybertron show, this is the alt mode she has. So, we'll get rid of that for now. Set her off to the side. And, yeah. And uh, for another quick comparison, here is Hammerbite in his alt mode. So, you know, car and a shark. Eh, why not? Why not? It's, it's, it's a good comparison. Why not? Who, said, who says they can't be in the same world? Because they aren't. But they are. They're both Transformers. There you go. Anyway, I really love this toy. If you don't have this mold, for the simple reason of he's a shark, get it. I got his review coming up. Anyway, we'll move him out of the way. And so, yeah, um, I really dig this toy. It, it's not the best toy. I think, I still think throwing 30s Chromia, as I said before, during the comparison, I think it is the better look for Chromia, personally. But since this was in the show, this is what you got. You got some... You know, painted clear plastics going on up here. You got paint on that. Nice bright red Autobot logo. Got some brown, brownish gold going on there. Blues, whites. Nice molded details all throughout this figure. I will give it that. I still hate this low center of gravity thing they got there. You know, I wish there was more ground clearance than this thing has. Because it's... Not that great. Uh, uh, see if I can line this up here to see that. Look at that. It's barely got a, like a millimeter or something there of ground clearance. And I am not a fan of that, okay? And Hasbro keeps doing it. They keep doing it. It's that... Look, in real life, she would not move very fast. Because every little bump she would hit would stall or knock her off the road. Because... It, that, that's too minimal of ground clearance. That it, it, it doesn't happen, you know, uh, 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 naturally. You know, the, the, not every car has to be a low rider. Okay, I, I'm sorry, but not every car has to be a low rider, Hasbro. And I wish you'd stop it. That, you know, I have a few complaints about this toy. That one part that always pops off. All right, the low ground clearance on almost every Siege vehicle, Warp Cybertron trilogy vehicle. And some pass lines all have the same problem. Uh, even uh, uh, Cyberverse vehicles all have the same, same, same problem. Low ground clearance, which, you know, she more slides than rolls. Tires are, are pretty good, you know, plastic tires and all that. But because of, you know, the very low ground clearance, it, it, it's, it's not great. So, anyway, this has been my look at... Uh, Transformers, Warp Cybertron, Netflix, Deluxe, Class, uh, Chromia, and, you know, it's a good toy. Uh, it's not the best representation. Uh, it's not my favorite mold. It is a good mold, okay? I, I'm not saying it's a bad mold. I just, there are things that I just wish they would have done differently. Uh, I, um, especially this ground clear. I, I'm so... I'm gonna, I, I gotta stop myself from rambling about it. It's one of my biggest nitpicks with modern lines is that glow ground clearance. It, it, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out my playlist. Make sure to hit that like button and that bell icon to stay up to date with all my videos. And once again, check out those playlists. That they, they are awesome. I got a lot there to, to offer. Make sure you check out TF Reviewers. You can find out the various links. Uh, below for that i i am a part of the tf reviewers group and uh, uh um so stay tuned for more i got a lot more uh, videos coming and uh there you go above everything else stay safe stay healthy and be good to each other